Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to find the limit. The first thing we need to divide this one like this. So in here, the angle of this one that is about theta over number two. So this is about the tangent, so we have 90 degrees in here. So we know that this one that is about R. We want to find the range area. So we need to minus the Y triangle in here and the pink. So you can get the area of this one. So we can use about 10 theta over 2. That is about this angle in here. So this is about the right triangle. So we want to find BR. BR that should be about opposite side of the opposite of this angle tight over number two. So we have BR divided by adjacent. So I will put this one that's about O in, in here. So we have OP. So BR, that is about OP multiplied by tan of theta over number 2. Now, after you got about BR, we can find this area in here. That is about 1 over number 2 multiplied by OP and BR. So OP, that is about R. BR, that is about this one. So R and R, we have R square. So if we want to move, if we want to find the whole area in here, that is about O, B, R, Q. So we just move to by by number two because in this one that is similar the area in here. So that should be about all square tan of theta over number two. Now we need to minus the y triangle in here and the pink. So we need to find the area of this one first. So that should be about A theta. So we have the white triangle in here. So in this one, I will put about K. This is about the intersection between B cube and OR. So we have the right triangle in here. So we have R, we have theta over number two we can find the length of B cake. So in this one, we have B cake. So that should be about side of theta over number two. So we have the opposite, that is about B cake. We divide by hypotenuse, that is about OP in here. So B cake, that is about OP multiplied by side of theta over number two. So OP we have R.
now we want to find the white area so we have this one we have one over two we multiply by okay okay we can find later and we have kb this is the the value of b cake now about o cake we can use about cosine theta over number two we have adjacent we have o cake we divide by b o and this one o cake that is about o cosine theta over 2 so in this one we combine everything we have 1 over 2 all square side theta over 2 cosine theta over 2 so we want to find the white triangle B O Q We just multiply by number 2 of this one. And this is about all square. Side theta over number 2. Cosine theta over number 2. Now, we can find the area of this one. So, this is about the circle. And we have theta over there. So, in this case, we have theta over... 360 degrees then we multiply by all square and we have B in here this one including about the Y triangle in here so we need to minus this one that is from here now after you got about this one, we can find about HB theta. So, we have the value we just calculate in here. We minus about the Y triangle in here. So that should be about this one. Later that we minus again of this one. That is about H8 theta. So negative and negative we have positive. So we just minus only this one. So after you got this one and this one, we can put inside the limit. So that should be like this. So after we have everything, we can find the limit of this one. So when theta approach to number 0, we put number 0 go in here, 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 and here. We can see that we have 0 over 0. So in this case, we can use L hospital. That means we need to do first the derivative of this one over first the derivative of that one so that should be like this so first the derivative of theta 
we have number one. Next, we need to do first the derivative of this one. We have one over number two. R square cosine theta over number two. Everything to the power of two. Later that we need to do first the derivative of this one. We have negative one over two sine theta over two. So negative and negative, we have positive. This one, we have 1 over 2 r square secant of theta over 2 square. This one, we have number 1. Now, we put theta approach to number 0, go in here, here, and here. So this one, this is about the numbers. So we put this one, go in here. This one, we got about number 1. So we have negative 1 over 2 r square. This one, you got number 0. This one, we have 1 over 2. or square this one we have negative 1 over 360 or square b so in this case we put the negative in here and the negative in here So this one we change the sign and they will become this one. So we have negative number one. 